Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about big salaries. So let's get into it. So the question in question was Frederick in Stack Overflow's 2020 developer survey, Scala was ranked as the highest paying programming language in the US with an average pay of $150,000. For developers in the US looking to maximize their salary, wouldn't it make sense just to pick up Scala and then switch jobs? Well, I suppose that that could be a strategy, uh, but I also think that you should take a bit of a look at the other part that you might not think so much about with this uh, with this strategy. So I suggested to this uh, subscriber to go and do something for me. I asked that person to go and literally to any job posting site, whatever, whichever one way, if it's the US globally, if you would li like to, it doesn't really matter. And then input a search for Scala and then look at the number you get back from the job posting sites and then compare that to literally any other mainstream language. It doesn't really matter which one it is and you will start to understand why your potential earning capacity with Scala is at least if you just look at the salary that they're paying for that language why that be will be pretty high and then do me another favor just for fun go and make the same search for COBOL F sharp Haskell Groovy it doesn't really matter and just see what the num what that number says because that's the thing yes if Scala is if Scala I mean I'm not going to question the survey because the salary of a Scala developer might be really really high and but the thing is why it's really really high that doesn't mean that just because you're going to go and learn Scala that that means that you're going to get paid that amount of money it's not the reason why it's a highly paid language is because practically nobody uses it I know right I'm not saying that it's a bad language. I'm not saying this or that about the people who learn Scala. If you enjoy Scala, if it's something that you want to bet on, go ahead. Yeah, I say the same thing to people who want to go into F Sharp or Haskell or Cobol to each his own or her own, whichever. Right? You do what you want. You you do what you want to do. But I think that it is important for you to understand that if you're looking to maximize your salary. It's not just it's it's just fifty percent of the whole picture to say that yeah this language has statistically the highest salary. You really need to understand why, and as you can imagine, if Scala has almost nobody who uses it, that's going to limit you in other other ways. If you are really really good at programming and you do really find a company who is leveraging Scala in a specific way or that, that they are betting on this stack, and you can get that job because as you can imagine if I mean if there's not that many people hiring for the position you're gonna have a competition as well I will tell you from experience as well that finding Scala developers with any type of experience is kind of hard because my company uses Scala as well uh, it was actually funny uh, I this has probably changed but the last time I looked for Haskell developers in Sweden or rather, not Haskell developers, companies that was hiring Haskell developers. The only company that showed up on my query was my company. And we don't use Haskell. We just accept people who know functional programming because we have Scala developers. That is an entire country. Now, I will admit that the co population of my country is like, if we're comparing that to the US, that's like the size of, I don't know, a mid-sized city. So you know, take it with a pinch of salt, but I hope that I'm getting my point across to you. You have to understand that availability of jobs does factor in here as well. So that's a balancing act that you have to kind of weigh, weigh on. You have to figure that out for yourself. It's the same thing when people ask me about, well, how, how is like a language like Haskell or F Sharp or whatever, you can absolutely make a really good living from Haskell if you wanted to, but at the same time you have to ask yourself, do you want to bet your entire career 
on a very niche language that limits you in terms of job opportunities and flexibilities and and the ability to move around. Because one thing that that Stack Overflow uh, that Stack Overflow uh, survey is not addressing is all right. So let's just say for the sake of argument, yes, Scala is the highest paid language, but is that as interesting as the highest paid software developers? What, because if you wanted to make the biggest bucks in software development, if you have a look at the domains, that's also a very interesting area to look at. If you look at how much the developers who are working in, say, banking make, and um, trading in just high speed trading, it doesn't have to be high speed trading, but in the banking world, you can make fairly serious money really really serious money I would be interested in to if you really are looking for the highest bucks you can't just look at the language there are other options out there what do you think that a software developer is making in comparison to a highly trained architect or CTO you as I was saying guys there are many many ways to the pot of gold and you don't just have to look at the specific language to get the biggest bucks. If you look at what the DevOps engineer is paid in comparison to a software developer, that's another number that you could consider. So, as I was saying, I'm not telling you to not go for Scala. I'm telling you that if you're going with Scala just because you want to make the highest salary, there's more to it than just picking the right language. So, what I want you to take away from this is that, yes, if you want statistically to make a choice on language that is going to net you the highest potential pay in the US in this case, Scala is, as of that survey, probably one of the best languages to do uh, to pick. But you should also know that it's practically, the, the main reason why that is, is because it's practically unused by most of the mainstream programming uh, companies in the world. and. That does give, it brings benefits because, as I said, the the salary might go up, but the competition for those positions might also go up. You don't really know. Do you, if you're one of the top developers, yeah, sure, you might be able to make that sort of money, but you're limited in other fashions uh, where you might not be able to go to your own region to find a job in Scala. You might have to do remote work if that's something for you. You might have to move to get a job. But if you say, I don't know, wanted to. If you started doing PHP development or say JavaScript or something like that, then you could literally spit in the air and you would most likely find a job or Java or C Sharp or whatever. So it's pros and cons. And what you really should look for if you're looking to maximize your salary is not just necessarily the language, but the domain and the role that you have in IT. Because there are, cer there are a lot of people who are earning quite a lot more money than the average application developer. And that is tied into more than the language that you pick. Have a great day.